This is the reassembly video for the Samsung Galaxy S T959V Vibrant 4G. And you can see that we've prepared the surface here. We have the old adhesive on the bottom. Put a couple of new pieces on the left-hand side here that came off with the original display when we removed it. So I'm just going to go ahead and peel the wax paper off here. Added a little bit of adhesive, adhesive to the top. And the new... Um, screen will also oh by the way you want to get your earpiece mesh off of the old piece make be absolutely certain before you do anything else that you put this piece on that you haven't forgotten anything you might want to just kind of test it without the adhesive first and see if the flex cable lines up properly when you plug it into the board because once you put this on you really do not want to take it off again so i'm transferring that mesh piece behind the earpiece over here on the new part and when we take this apart, it'll also have some adhesive that's built in here underneath this plastic. So again, make sure that you remove all the plastic that's on the back of this because once you stick it down in a place, you don't want to remove it. And you see I've pre-bent the, uh, the flex cable so it goes right through the housing. And we're going to very carefully line this up. And not a lot to this one. Once you've got it taken apart, the rest is all downhill. So we'll set this into place and just kind of work your way around the edges, make sure everything lines up and is sitting flush and that'll allow it also to bond with the adhesive and once we've got this flattened out all we have to do is go ahead and very carefully route the volume cable on the logic board right around the main flex and you'll see what i mean here in just a second and i like to kind of tuck these flexes uh, into the position that allows me to put the board in so make sure you be real careful around these cables antenna wires don't pinch anything if you end up on top of something and you push down you can damage it Hopefully you don't have any trouble. You might have to use a pair of tweezers to guide this thing into the right. Be very careful. Don't push down on it. If it's not plugged in properly, you can damage the antenna port, antenna wire port on the logic board. So you can see I'm just kind of putting this right into that little area where it needs to sit because you do not want to pinch this with your housing. And here we have our power button, which initially I was going to set it down on this part of the phone but it actually works out better if you put it into the rear housing there's a little loop that goes around a peg so it's very difficult to make any mistake mistakes with uh, which you should be able to see here in just a second on the upper part here there's a little peg and that loop goes around that peg and then you can just kind of push the power button into position and from here we're just going to go ahead and put this back on put our battery in hit the power button and make sure everything lights up and the touchscreen is working and which it was in this case. So I hope you guys have found this helpful. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments area. I prefer that you don't direct message me. I'd like everyone to be able to benefit from any information that we share on YouTube. And that's it for today. I'll be back with another video soon.